Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. All right, I'm here at the Worldwide Headquarters, the Pinhook Fishing Club, and we're going to conduct a little experiment. So, I've got this Maxent Craw, and I'm going to leave it on a plate for several days. I'm thinking we're going to do some evaluations at day 10, day 15, and so forth. And we're going to, I'm going to leave it outside and see what happens to it if it dries out. See, like right now it's nice and moist right out of the package. And we're going to see outside here. Sun will be on it, mostly shady. And I mean, it's where my backyard, so we'll just kind of see what happens. The, the real possibility here is that we may even get birds <laughs> can probably land on it and pick at it and who knows it may disappear because we have everything from blue jays we do have an occasional hawk that comes through there's owls uh, there is a blue jay right now I'm looking over in the tree I can see him there's doves let's see if nah, I took one step over there and he bailed out anyway all right and there are some like ravens around so this is that kind of black with blue like little flecks in it and I got a couple of bolts I'm gonna put on either side because we are in Texas and it is windy and I think the wind is gonna cause some problems so uh, I'll put that I'm gonna put it on a little patio table and we're gonna let it sit there all right let me get that set up and we'll be right back okay guys this is by no means scientific so this is just me wanting to see what happens to this after a number of days and if it's on two paper plates but I'm worried about the wind catching it if because we get these crazy thunderstorms but Anyway, well, if it falls on the ground or blows over, that's fine. I could just put it back up here. But you can kind of tell there's a breeze now. So, I'm going to leave it out here and see what happens to it. See if it dries out. See if it shrinks. Anyway, this is just for me to kind of see how it all goes. My own little scientific experiment. And I may look for a bigger rock to put on that plate. In fact, I do have one that I can put there because I am worried about this breeze all right and then we'll check it so this is day one starting it off and we'll, we'll keep checking to see how it turns out all right guys so there's the update this is a couple hours later I did put a nice big ro heavy rock on there but I'm not too thrilled about how these plates bow up so I've got two of them there that way if there's any kind of residue, it doesn't seep through onto this table. But uh, curious to see how this pans out. All right, guys, here it is, day number two. Everything's looking good. Doesn't look like it shrunk or anything. I did have something very interesting here in the backyard on the patio. I can't show you. Well, I guess I can show you. There's nothing there, but right over here earlier there was a young rabbit with no head something chewed the head off of it and it was just the body laying there so I scooped that up and got rid of it crazy alright so it was nice and hot today this thing looks like it's still in good shape but this is only day number two Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are. Day number five. Breezy day. The temperature is well over 100 degrees. Let's take a look. Ooh, it doesn't have the same dampness. Took a sniff of it. You can't... S the, s the scent that it normally has is gone. The texture is the same but it doesn't have that dampness and the scent is gone 
There's no scent. Here, sniff it. <laughs> oh, that's right. We don't have a smell of vision. So we know that sometimes when you break that apart, it will send the scent out. And it's it's present. And it's very interesting how this is turning out. I'm very surprised. We haven't had any rain, which is kind of helping to see how this goes. But for five days, hmm, very interesting. The other thing is, good news, I hadn't had any more dead rabbits turn up. <laughs> crazy anyway all right i'll continue to watch this and we'll see it It doesn't look like it shrunk either so it's holding its shape which is interesting all right see you next time all right guys we're up to day number eight still holding its shape it hasn't shrunk Sniff test, take a sniff of it. Doesn't have its smell anymore. Oops. Doesn't have its smell anymore. Today we got up to 104, felt like 112, I think, with a heat index. And this thing is still holding firm like a champ. Now it's very interesting that it lost the scent, so I may have to do some research and figure out if this is a common issue with these or not, if people have talked about the the scent going away, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll um, definitely do some research on it. Okay, so we'll keep checking back and see what's going to happen. So far it looks like it's just going to stay as is. All right, guys. We're up to day 12 yeah day 12 take a look at that it's still holding its shape hasn't shrunk still no scent man oh man even in this hot sun we had a little bit of rain and I'm surprised that the, maybe because of the heat even with the rain it didn't soak it up any I mean it did it's not if it soaked it up, it's not moist is what I'm trying to say. So I guess it dried out eventually. But man, that is, uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we'll keep it going and see what happens. All right, guys. A little bit of residue over two weeks. And this thing is still intact, looking great. survived doesn't have the scent anymore you can take a sniff of it <laughs> but man these things hold up it goes back to like a normal plastic not that kind of weird stuff how it comes out in the package anyway all right that's gonna wrap it up man that was for my own curiosity thanks for hanging all hanging around and kind of seeing what was going on with it interesting stuff that's for sure all right guys until next time i'll see you then bye bye now get out there and get your lures wet